the fishing trailer mini game. This game can be done solo or with a team. I'll be showing you how to successfully do both. The three things you'll need are a bailing bucket, a lot of swamp paste, and some rope. All these items can be obtained from the general store not too far away from the boat. The goal of the game is to not sink while the net catches the fish. You have three things to consider while in the boat. Filling the leaks, bailing out water, and repairing the net. At the top of your screen, it will show you most of the things that you need to know, like your water level and if the net is okay. Unless you have multiple leaks or are about to sink, you should always prioritize fixing the net because you won't be catching any fish while it's broke. When the net is fine, worry about the leaks. Fixing the leaks is more important than bailing the water because the water comes in faster than you'll be able to bail it out. The only time to bail the water is when the net is fine and there are no leaks, so pretty much we have nothing else to do. Following all these steps, then you should have no problem with the boat. The rate the boat leaks will depend on the amount of players you're with. So if you're with a lot of players and the boat keeps sinking, maybe hop worlds to solo or team up with a friend. I enjoyed playing solo, or just a couple people, because it's a lot more active. With a lot of people, you'll most likely just be filling leaks to keep up your activity. If your activity goes all the way down, you'll be kicked from the boat. The fastest way to get your activity up is to position your cursor in between two leaks. If this is done correctly, you'll be able to fix both leaks when they happen without your character moving. The rewards you receive aren't dependent on the amount of people or even your activity. The only factor for how many fish you'll get is how long the net stay repaired. Keeping the net okay will be the only way to max out the amount of fish you receive. Also, if the net is broken when you finish the game, you will actually receive no reward. This game is the only way to receive sea turtles and manta rays. You also receive a little fishing experience after each trip. While these are nice bonuses, even at higher levels they are not worth the time it takes compared to other food. The best reward from Fishing Trawler is the angler outfit. Every game you complete, you'll have a 1 in 8 chance of receiving a piece. So on average, it would take 32 games to get the full set, which is a little over 6 hours. Hope this guide could help. If it did, please leave a like and be sure to subscribe for more videos. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time.